Hi guys, welcome you to this week where today we're talking about potassium carbonate. Now, potassium carbonate is a alkaline that we use to adjust the pH of our fermentations. Now, those of you that's already done training with us, any of our training courses, but specifically a C1 introduction to distilling or uh, the introduction to the distilling section of the C10 comprehensive distilling course, you would know that pH is quite important for a good fermentation for a happy fermentation. If it's too acidic or too alkaline, that could put the yeast under stress, which negatively impacts on the quality of the fermentation, either the speed, either the alcohol tolerance, or more importantly, the flavors generated during the fermentation process, what we refer to as the congeners or the long chain flavor and aroma molecules formed during the fermentation process. All of these are affected by yeast stress. And one of these stresses is an incorrect pH. Now, the pH, when we adjust it, um, it's normally too low. In most circumstances, our pH is too low. It's too acidic, so we need to adjust the pH upwards. So we measure it either using pH strips or a digital pH meter. We measure our initial pH, and then we add an alkaline to adjust that pH upwards. Now, there's many different alkalines in the world many food safe alkalines that we can use, but our preferred alkaline is potassium carbonate. Now, the reason why we use potassium carbonate, or prefer to use potassium carbonate, is not because it's very reactive, so there are other alkalines that are more reactive, but potassium carbonate has no lag phase. Because normally when you use something like calcium carbonate, for instance, you add some in, you stir it, you take the measurement, there's no change. Add some more, stir it, take another measurement, there's no change. So by the time you see a change in the pH, that's only the first bit of calcium carbonate you added that's only reacting now. You're actually way too high. Your pH is much higher than you think it is because not all the calcium carbonate you've added in has finished reacting. And that's because of the lag phase. Potassium carbonate, no lag. So I add it in, I stir it to take a measurement, I immediately see a change in my pH. So I can very quickly, very accurately adjust my pH to my target uh, amount.